Hello everyone, I'm Cool as Ice Makeup, and I'm gonna do a Jack Skellington Inspire Makeup tutorial. Before we get started, I did my white base and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. On that Twitch chat, let's get started. Jack Skellington made his first appearance in Tim Burton's. Nightmare Before Christmas movie in 1993. This is my version. This is inspired, by the way. It does not have to be perfect. I had some technical difficulties with the white base. So I just used the Party City white cream makeup because this Snazaroo white face paint wouldn't work. And ignore the ball on my left eye because I'm going for like black around the eye to represent like skull makeup and last year for halloween i did like an easy skull makeup tutorial well this is inspired by jack skeleton so it does not have to be perfect also this is part of my character inspired makeup series and my halloween makeup series on to the makeup fraud power i took tar candy one you know drill and i wait for it to dry before you can do my left eye the palette i'm using is makeup revolution X Tammy Chocolate Caramel Palette. I'm taking the black shade Jab Jab only today, so only one eyeshadow. I'm using a makeup crayon to like do a rough sketch and then liquid liner to fill it in. The brushes I'm using, well, I'm only using one, is one elf eyeshadow brush. I might as well get started. And I'm like sort of memorizing the reference photo that I found online. It does not have to be perfect. For a one, I'm taking Beauty Runway black eye pencil, but any black eyeliner will do at home. Just fill in your waterline best you could. I normally like do it with a, a white or a dark eyeliner because black on me like for my everyday makeup makes my eyes look smaller but for the sake of this video i must do it with black eyeliner for the waterline to draw in the circles i'm taking one of my dollarama halloween makeup crowns this came in a set for like 250 canadian and then i'm going to start where my brow is it looks good and then fill in like the bottom part best I could because I'm going with like little eyeliner and black eyeshadow for black liquid liner I'm taking covergirl get in line look liner in and ink black but any black eyeliner will do at home you want to make it you want to make sure that it's shooken up really well and then start on your eyelid and then go up and then fill in like the rough sketch that we did with the makeup crayon these like type of makeup crayons are perfect for face painting and my eye is watering a little bit Let's fill in like the rough sketch. It does not have to be perfect. And then I'm going to take the exact same black liquid liner to fill in like the mouth that Jack has. And then a little bit on like the bottom. I'm going to wait for this to dry and I'm going to be right back. Once the eyeliner is fully dry, you can tell that it's matte, you want to take a black eyeshadow and then set it. I might as well do patty motions to minimize the fallout. Just fill in the gaps and like set everything. To minimize fallout, you might as well pat instead of swipe because that's what happened on my left eye. And for my everyday makeup, I'm a base first eyes last girl. And like dark colors are unforgiven with the fallout. And I'm going to ignore the city bus in the background. And then 
going on like the lower lash line part like stopping where my own lower lashes is I'm getting a little bit of fallout but it's not much this is inspired by Jack Skeleton and I was originally going to make this like a Christmas look because there's Christmas in the title and like when Jack goes to Christmas land but I was like nah Jack Skeleton and the whole Nightmare Before Christmas is just Halloween. So that's what I'm thinking of. And the eyes don't have to be perfect because it's inspired by the Pumpkin King already. I get plus mascara to this eye and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. For the nose, I'm drawing two triangles. Or maybe teardrops. Jack's nose is more like on the teardrop shape. And I'm going to fill it in best I could. I think that looks good so far. And I'm going to fill in my left nostril because like there's some skin peeking through like the white I believe that looks good this is perfect for Halloween like for beginners and it's inspired by the Tim Burton character so it does not have to be perfect whatsoever for lip prep I took taste beauty pop tarts blueberry lip balm but any lip balm will do at home and we're all it's in toilet paper from lips and ice and hydrated chap lips are not cute for the lips, I'm just going to take the exact same makeup crayon from earlier for the black lipstick and then the line fusion liquid liner. You know what I mean. I want to darken my natural lip color just a little bit. Once my lips are dark enough, I'm taking the exact same CoverGirl liquid liner as before, and I'm going to draw two straight lines. And then do the teeth. The teeth do not have to be perfect whatsoever. Here is the completed Jack Skeleton Inspired Makeup Tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. This is my take on Jack Skeleton. So, stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, bye!